Hi there everyone, Ranger Hardy here. I'm in Nandy in Fiji at the moment and I'm standing out here in the dark because around these parts they grow sugar cane and where there's sugar cane there's cane toads. So I'm going to send my cameraman off to find some and uh, let's have a look at them. Off you go cameraman. It didn't take too long to find our first cane toad. The cane toads were brought into Fiji to help control some insects that were eating the sugar cane. They are now pests and at night you can see hundreds of them. They have a poison in their skin that can kill animals that try to eat them. Look how well this cane toad blends in with the road. We found a cane toad under this leaf, but if you look carefully, you can see another one camouflaged behind him. This cane toad is sitting very still. If you look closely, you can see him breathing. In the wild, cane toads have a life expectancy of 10 to 15 years. There are two cane toads in this shot and it looks like there is a snail here too. Look, there's another snail in the background behind this cane toad. Oh and look, here are two more snails. Looks like they like to come out at night too. A snail moves by creeping on a flat foot underneath its body. In the foot there is a band of muscles that expand and contract, creating a ripple movement that pushes the snail forward. This foot has a slippery gland in it that produces a slimy mucus, so the snail creates its own slippery track. Can you see the wet patch on this rock where the snail has made a track? This snail is sliding along on the grass. It certainly moves very slowly. When someone says that they are going at snail's pace, it means that they are going extremely slowly. It is taking a while for this snail to get over that leaf. Well, did you see that? That gecko just photobombed our shot. Looks like he wanted to be filmed as well. Now he's running away. Let's have a look at that again. There he goes, right on top of the snail. Hey Gecko, it's gonna be a slow ride. And in reverse. Well, he can jump. Let's see it one more time. My favorite shot of the day. Well, since he made such a grand entrance, let's go and find some more geckos to film. There's one up there on the wall. And another one on the ceiling. It's amazing how they can hang on with their suction-like feet to walls and upside down on ceilings. As you might have seen, when we went out looking for the cane toads, we found some snails as well. And a photo bombing gecko. That was pretty funny. But all of these creatures were created by God. And I think they're sensational.